how to lose weight in one month. There are a lot of fad diets out there that claim you can lose 10, 20, or 30 pounds in one month. This video will show you how to ditch fad diets and instead make healthy, sustainable lifestyle changes. So let's begin. Preparing for a weight loss. Set a goal. Setting a realistic weight or health goal is a great start to your weight loss plan. A healthy rate is generally considered 1 to 2 pounds a week. So what does this mean? Generally, you can lose up to 4 to 8 pounds in a month. Setting a goal to lose more than this amount is generally not realistic. Take your measurements. Taking measurements is the most effective way to track your progress. Since weight alone doesn't tell you the full story of your weight loss, you might want to consider taking measurements. This can help you see where you're losing weight. Start a journal. A journal is a great tool when losing weight. You may also take notes on what aspects of your diet or lifestyle you think you want to change. For example, you might want to cut out sodas, increase your activity or eat more fruits and vegetables. Changing your diet. Calculate a calorie limit. To lose weight, you'll need to cut out some calories each day. 1. Do not go below 1200 calories daily. This may result in nutrient deficiencies, loss of lean muscle mass, and slower weight loss long term. If you continuously do not eat an adequate amount of calories over a month, you may notice your weight loss slows or stops. Include protein, fruits, and vegetables at each meal. Include a 3 to 4 ounces serving of lean protein at each meal and snack. Try items like poultry, lean beef, eggs, low-fat dairy, tofu, or legumes. Make 50% of your grain choices whole grain. One serving of grains is about half cup or one ounce. Include two to three servings of grains daily. Limit snacking. Some examples of healthy snacks include a low-fat cheese stick and a piece of fruit, a small Greek yogurt, or a hard-boiled egg. Cut out unhealthy foods. Here are some common culprits to avoid soda chips and crackers candy and desserts white pasta rice bread foods high in processed sugar cane sugar or high fructose corn syrup energy drinks and sugary creamy coffees drink water there are ways to jazz up your water without adding lots of calories try adding citrus slices lemon lime, orange, zero-calorie drink mixes, or making decaf or herbal teas. Integrating exercise. Include regular aerobic exercise. You have to make time for exercise. Get creative. Go for a walk before work, or maybe go to the gym right after work. Bike to work, and even start scheduling more physical activities over the weekend include a few days of strength training lifting weights or using weight machines helps your body build lean muscle mass the more muscle mass you have the lower your risk of osteoporosis and the more calories your body burns at rest don't overindulge while you exercise try to enjoy the endorphin rush that comes after you finish your workout instead of reaching for a snack for example, you could recline in a chair and focus on how your body feels or take a long relaxing shower. Maintaining weight loss and evaluating progress. Retake measurements. After one month, you might decide to lose another 5 pounds or to continue with your diet for another month to see how much additional weight you can lose. Revisit your goals. Even if you've met your weight goal, you might want to consider keeping up with an increased activity to help maintain your weight loss and physical fitness level. Thanks for watching. Please like share subscribe. Don't forget to press bell icon.